sea stars. They look pointless, but in reality, they are the species that separates a thriving ecosystem versus a collapsing one. Due to their importance, they were coined as a keystone species in the 1960s. But before we talk about keystone species, we need to learn what the food web is and how it functions. The food web is the natural interconnection of all food chains in an ecosystem, in which certain animals or plants occupy a certain level to the food web, called trophic levels. For example, primary producers such as plants and plankton occupy the first trophic level of the food web, and animals that consume the first level, such as sea urchins, occupy the second trophic level of the food web. The food web also reveals the community aspect of an ecosystem. Now every animal or plant has a part to play in maintaining the food web's balance. However, when a plant or animal is removed or is facing extinction, it has a chance of upsetting the food web's balance. It's also key to know that some animals are more important than others in maintaining that balance. Keystone species like the starfish is a perfect example of playing a big role in your ecosystem. Starfish, being a predator, keep the sea urchin population in check, but without them, the sea urchins would have free reign to devour the whole kelp forest, destroying habitats for other marine life. The example that I just mentioned is what's happening today. In 2013, the sea star population drastically decreased. Now, first, many scientists thought the decrease was due to environmental factors, such as global warming and ocean acidification. And although these factors did contribute to the loss of stump starfish, it wasn't the main cause. The main cause was due to a disease called sea star wasting disease, a disease caused by a denzovirus, a virus made up of mRNA. And what makes this disease so deadly is not only its very high mortality rate, but also its ability to quickly spread, with sea star wasting disease spreading to the coast of Alaska all the way to northern Mexico. Well, how does sea star wasting disease actually affect starfish? Symptoms of sea star wasting disease includes wounds or white lesions onto the starfish's body, the loss of arms, and finally body disintegration, leading to the death of the starfish. With the sea star wasting disease destroying almost every kelp forest all across the Pacific coast, with it attacking the key predator, the sunflower sea star, destroying almost 80 to 100% of the population in some areas, labeling it a critically endangered species. However, it is noted that some species of the sea star are immune to the disease because of their genetics. With sea star wasting disease destroying the population of sea stars for almost seven years, scientists are still not close to solving the disease. With sea otters also being labeled as an endangered species because of illegal poaching and oil spills, sea urchins are left with almost no natural predators. Because of the lack of predators, sea urchin population have exploded by almost 10,000%, leaving kelp forests at an all-time high of danger.